It's official. Photoshop 2025 is out, and there are some new features like generative realistic background with image still mode there, removing distraction like people or wear cable, and some more, which I'm going to be discussing in this video. Let's talk about getting realistic background. Let me just delete everything I've done for this image. All right, so if I want to change the background of this image, what I can do, I'll just duplicate this layer by pressing on Command J or Control J. So after I duplicate my layer, I'm going to pick on any selection tool. Once I pick on any selection tool, I'm going to click on this arrow icon and make sure cloud is selected to get a more detailed selection. Now from here, if you don't have your contextual tags bar open, like I said earlier, come to your windows and just click on your contextual tags bar right here and it's going to open for you. So I'm going to click on remove background right here. It's just going to automatically remove our background for us. From here, I want to click on generate background and just type in what I want. So this is the prompt I use for this. Sandy beach with blue water sunset mountain. So if there is any prompt you want, and just click on generate and just going to generate a background for you automatically. Now it has finished loading, we have to leave a as you can see it has changed the for us. So now see the before and the after. So this is the first variation, the second variation, the third variation. So I think I like this first variation more. And if I want to get similar to this first variation, all I have to do is click on this three dots right here and click on generate similar. I'll go to generate the background that are similar to this one for me. So now let's just wait for it to load. All right, as soon as loading, you can see we have three similar background. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. So I think this first one works. Now, if you take a closer look at the background, you can see it's looking more realistic compared to the way it was before. This is because with this latest updates, Adobe Photoshop is now using a mystery AI model, which is making the generative AI look more realistic. So let's see what started from and where we are right now for the background. Now, see the before and the after before and the after. The rules have gotten a lot better and you have two new options like design distraction and the mode which is the generative AI. After I finish updating Photoshop to the latest version 2025 version and you guys find the remove too, just click on edit, click on toolbar right here and it should be on this other side. So all you have to do is just click on the two and just drag it to the left side like this and the two is going to be added to your toolbar. And if you want to move any two from your toolbar, Click on the tool you want to remove and drag it to this side. I'm just going to remove that tool from the toolbar. Or I so just click on restore default right here. And I'm going to click done since I already have my remove tool. Now, in the past, if I try to remove this flower from this image with the regular remove tool, let's see what's going to happen. So, if I want to remove this flower, I'm really going to duplicate my layer by pressing on Command J. If I duplicate my layer, I'm going to create a new empty layer and just rename this layer regular remove. I just paint on the flowers which I want to remove. So let's see how it's going to look. Okay. So I'm going to turn off this AI. I'm going to turn generative AI off and just click on OK. Make sure sample layer is selected because we are removing these flowers on our empty layer. So let's see the before and after. This is the before and the after. The before and the after. Right now, you can see it's not looking good at all. Before I show you the new update of Remove Tool, let me show you what I do before this update was released. So let me just hide this layer. I'm going to create a new empty layer. Pick my Select Brush Tool. Once I select my Select Brush Tool, so I'm going to paint around my flower. So this is what I do before this update. I'm going to paint around my flower like this. Once I make a selection of the flower, I'm going to go to my Generative Free. If you can't find a Generative Free, just come to Windows and just click on this contextual Tags bar right here. I'm just going to open your contextual tags bar for you. So once the contextual tags bar open, I'm going to click on generate this free and I'm just going to leave it black and just click on generate. All right. So you can see it has been generated. We have three versions. This is the first one, the second one, and the third one. I think this third one works better. So let's see the before and after. This is the before and the after. The flower is no longer there. So this is what I do before the new update. Now let's try it with the new update. All right. So I'm just going to hide this to layer and just create a new layer again, a new empty layer. I'm able to rename this layer, remove to updates. All right. So the way this update works, if I just pick my remove to and just make the selection of this flower again. So after making a selection of the flower, just like this. Also, you can see I selected the bag. If you want to remove it from the bag, just click on this minus right here and just remove it from where you don't want it to affect like this. All right. So after making a selection, just come to your mode. Inside your mode, you have three options. You have the auto that says we use generative AI. You have the generative AI on, and also we have the generative AI off. So we tried it with the generative AI off the first time. 
now let's try to be generative ai on let's see the before and after so with the generative ai on i'm going to click on okay so let's just wait for it to load right now so it has finished loading let's see the before and after so see the before and the after so let's compare it to the regular remove so for the regular remove see the before and the after why for the ai remove the before and the after now the difference between this ai remove and the generative field is that for the generative field we can see we have three options to choose from so we have three variations if i just come to my properties click on this generative field we have the first variation the second variation and the third variation so that's the difference between the generative field and the ai remove for the ai remove we only have one option and it's going to do it for us automatically but it's better than our regular remove tool so let's see it again these are regular remove tool and these are ai remove tool so much better so that's the first object inside the remove tool now the second object is this fan distraction right here so if i just open this fan distraction you can see we have one click remover if you want to remove wires and cable also we also have people if you want to remove people that are distracting so let's say i want to remove the people on the background of this image i'll first of all duplicate my background layer by pressing on command j once i click on it i'm going to come to fan distraction and just click on people right here and just going to detect the people on the background for me automatically all right so you can see it has selected the people at the background but it missed this man right here so i'm going to manually select this man to it so if i remove to see selected i'm not going to manually add this man to this selection just like that okay then if you paint on the subject you can just click on this subtract and just remove it from the subject because you don't want it to affect the subject like this so once you finish making that selection just come to the mode if you want to do it offline without generative ai just click on off so let's try it without generative ai let's see the before and after so let's off generative ai so i'm going to click on off and just click on ok so let's compare with generative ai off and generative ai on let's see the before and the after so let's just wait for it to load right now so with the generative ai off see the before see the before and the after the before and the after and you can just manually zoom it and just remove this one right here now let's try it with the generative ai on so i'm going to hide this layer and duplicate my background layer again i press now command j then i'm going to click on send distraction and i'm going to click on people i think i'm going to manually add this man to the selection so let's try it with generative ai let's compare the before and the after on that mode i want to turn on generative ai and hit ok see the before and the after the before and the after you can see it replaced the lady right there with this mouse so i'm going to make another selection of this person and just remove it so i click on find distraction and click on people this is going to select that person in the background and this time with generative free ai on i'm going to click on okay again so let's just wait for it to load and remove that person on the background and let's compare so this generative will remove the before and the after so if i zoom in you can see how it looks the before and the after now let's look at this type generative ai so this is the before and this is the after of that generative ai the before and the after so you can just play with it and see which one works for you now the difference between the generative ai on and the generative ai off this with the generative ai on you have to be connected to the internet before it can work and it's kind of slow when processing why would the generative ai off it's faster and you don't need to be connected to the internet but the generative ai on gives the best results and not really to lie why for the auto photoshop will automatically detect if you want to use ai to see the place or use it offline like i explained earlier so just play with the gear and see which one works for you so still offline distraction we have the wire and cable right here so if i want to remove the wires and the cable or this image first i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate my background layer by pressing up command j after the duplicate my layer i'm going to add a new empty layer and just make sure sample layer is selected because we are working on an empty layer and i'm going to tell you the reason why we are working on an empty layer so so with that empty layer selected and sample layer selected so just come to your mode i'm going to use generative ai on for this and just click on find distraction and just click on wires and cable right here the reason why generative ai on like i said earlier with generative ai on you get the best results compared with generative ai off so that is why i use generative ai on when removing the cables so let's wait for it to load and see the before and the after all right so if i finish removing these cables let's see the before and after see the before and the after the before and the after now the reason why i use this empty layer if i zoom in you can see it has moved some of these slides right here so let's see it again the before and the after 
So to bring those parts back, just add a layer mask. Once you add the layer mask, just pick your normal brush tool. Make sure your foreground color is set to black because the layer mask is white. And just paint and just bring back those parts you want to bring back right there, like this. Alright? Let's remove the parts we want to remove. Press X to switch to white and just remove these parts right there. Now, let's see the before and after, the before and the after. So remove the shadows of the wire and those parts right there. The same thing. I'm going to create a new empty layer. Just pick my remove tool again. In my mode, I want to make sure Genesis AI is on for my mode. And this time, I'm just going to manually paint on the shadows to remove it. Or any area I still want to remove. So let's just paint on the shadow and any area we want to remove to remove them. Okay. Alright, so after making a selection of the area which you want to remove, you can do it offline if you want to do it offline with the Unity VR off. But for me, I prefer to use Unity VR on and just click on OK like this. And just going to remove those parts which we selected. So it has finished loading, see the before and after. This is the before and the after. You can see most of the shadow are gone, but I don't like the way this part is looking. So I'm going to add the layer mask. Pick my normal brush tool with black selected. I'm going to go to paint on these parts just to bring the shadow back. I feel it's looking so much better like this. And I can just remove it if I want to remove it using generative AI. So let's just go back with him and see the before and after. So instead of from, you can see the cables and the wire and the after. The before and the after. So these are the new features inside the latest version of Photoshop. The remove to not have fan distraction, which can be used to remove people from your image, also remove cables and wire from your image. And in addition to that, you can now generate and add a realistic background to your image directly inside of Photoshop. And in my previous video, I explained in details how you can get to realistic background and apply it to your image inside of Photoshop. If you get to watch that video, I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.